Hello everyone, welcome to the Style That Finds Us YouTube channel. Today, mother-daughter duo, Allison Brune and Delia Folk, we are in the kitchen and we are cooking cauliflower pizza, cauliflower crust. So as you probably know by now, I'm a vegetarian. Thankfully, mom obliges, begrudgingly, <laughs> when we are together. And also, the philosophy <laughs> of how the style that finds us likes to eat is we like things that we can make quickly. We want it to be filling. We want it to be healthy. We don't want there to be too many ingredients. <laughs> and, and that is how we like to eat. Some people are totally happy with, you know, going through a recipe cookbook and spending hours cooking just one meal, but that is not us. And, you know, it's kind of hard. You can't really eat your cake and have it too, or whatever. It's hard to, to have that perfect combination of quick, easy filling, okay. all the things, but we figured it out because guess what? Call of power. <laughs> You can buy this cauliflower crust. Now, it is not totally Delia approved, I'm sure, with the ingredients, no, but we're just what? going to ignore that. What does it say on the front? It says, live life on the veg. Oh my God. <laughs> That's hysterical. That's your motto, live life on the veg, baby. Yes. Okay, so we each have one. They're not very big. This is our supper. I know, but what, what? Do, what do we do first? We preheat the oven to? Oh yeah, 425? Yes, exactly. And we definitely want to take off, it came in a plastic wrap and then also some cardboard underneath. Make sure to take off the cardboard or you might catch fire in the oven. <laughs> I've never done this. Have you ever done this? Oh, I, I've made a pizza before. Oh, I, I haven't. I can't no. believe you admit you didn't do it for date night before. It's a nice activity. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> that like someone to cook for us on that one. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. This is some pizza sauce, so let's start with that. And that is the sauce I made sure that just has very few things in it. Wonderful. There's your spoon. Okay, BB, you, you take us away. Well, I have no idea. So, in terms of toppings, we just kind of looked in the fridge and the cabinet, and we figured out what we had and what would make sense to go on a pizza. So, what we came up with was a lot of cheese. <laughs> we have some spinach. We're not really in our home, our home kitchen, so. And we have black olives. My favorite okay. pizza growing up was black olives and artichoke hearts. Oh, we should have done the hearts of palm. It's fine. Okay, we're also going to have, you can start with that, some fresh mozzarella. Some parmigiano, some parmesan cheese, and some cheddar cheese. So we just need, we're one short of a quattro, quattro formaggio. This would be like a blue cheese or something. I know. We, we have goat cheese. We'll do that another time. This is a lot of cheese. Okay, so I put my spinach leaves on there, and now I'm going to put the basil. I absolutely love basil. It's probably my favorite. <laughs> Herb. We also love mint, especially in the right, summer. Right, definitely wouldn't go on pizza, but we do love mint. I thought about mint too, but. One time we made this incredible calzone oh, that I've never so forgotten good. in my whole life. And it had lemon zest in oh it, which God, was, was so they can't good. see me spreading. Oh. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, I'm going from like biggest to smallest, except this, I'm sorry, excuse me for reaching. It's like medium. And it is actually sliced. This is the fresh mozzarella, mozzarella, <laughs> <laughs> and it it's sliced. So I'm just going to like break it off into little pieces and put it on my pizza and hope for the best. And the nice thing about this, this is a literal family-friendly activity because there's no mess. I mean, maybe there's some mess involved, but really all you do, the, the crust is done, so all you have to do is put on the sauce and the fun toppings and throw it in the oven, and 12 minutes later you have dinner. It kind of reminds me of when y'all were little and we would do the taco night. You yeah. can put out every kind of, um, it used to drive the other, my other two children crazy because Jay was vegetarian, so they wanted meat and bacon and, you know, all of that kind of stuff, and really couldn't stand the smell of bacon it made her feel sick and you know she's really been a vegetarian she was a little girl so um that way when we did tacos we could just uh put it all out there and each child you know could go is to this town for me 
Yeah, and you can get more too. I mean, you know, you just, it comes in slices like I said. So we want to see what you do during pizza night. We would love it if you do this activity. As always, we challenge you to do, have a fun pizza night with, you can have it with yourself. It can be a date activity, a family activity. It can either be call a power with call a flower crust or it can be regular crust. We are not gluten free, but we're happy to eat gluten free if necessary. So, <laughs> if necessary. So, this is a new way of cooking a la Delia. She comes up with these wonderful recipes. Wow. Recipes, <laughs> and maybe I better have a little more. And, um, and we just kind of throw it together and see what happens. And usually, <laughs> like sometimes when she makes one of her vegetarian stews in the crock pot, the top doesn't quite even fit on there. It's never, it never. too much stuff. I'm like, that's not going to work, Delia. The crock pot has to have the top on securely. <laughs> no, it works. The next day we wake up and there is the vegetarian chili or whatever she's cooked. So, um. It cooks down, baby. It's very, it's a zestful way to live. Have. It's also a surprise, you know, you never yeah, know. Yeah, exactly, because with the type A personality, I've learned, thankfully, before and at 28, that it is unhealthy. Per perfection is unhealthy. That's and impossible. Impossible and unhealthy, and that can lead to so many issues. So that's, I cannot live my life trying to strive for perfection. So it's good enough. And it, yes, and sometimes my grandmother had some great recipes and I wanted to write them down when she was older and I would say, you know, how much, but how much salt? Just a pinch. I'm like, what is a pinch? Just a tad, just a touch. All of these different, so some of my recipes that I wrote down of hers, you know, are, are that. And when you see them, you're going to be like, well, what is, I don't even know how much this is. Just a touch. She's putting just a touch of mozzarella on top of her pizza. Okay. Now, we're ready to put it in the oven, right? Yes. And it goes straight on the rack, which I'm a little bit nervous about because I don't want to mess up Grandmama's. Uh, Grandmama's not here, but um, we are. Yeah, it's Grandma's just like 13 time. minutes. And then, and then we're gonna eat. So stay tuned, we're gonna put it in the oven now. Now we get to have our taste test <laughs> for our cauliflower vegetarian pizzas. Okay, here we go. And we couldn't figure out, we couldn't remember whose was whose. So we just halved them down the middle. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good. Wow. Delicious. Yeah. Cauliflower crust. What was that saying again? Live life on the veg. Woohoo! Thanks so much for joining us for the Style That Binds Us special edition home cooking night with our vegetarian cauliflower pizza. And make sure to like our video, comment, let us know if you want more cooking videos, and if you have any requests, subscribe to our channel, and we can't wait to see you on the Style That Binds Us next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.